Conestoga Conversations, Indigenous, blah, 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 blah. just a second, <laughs> try that again. Welcome to Conestoga Conversations, Indigenous Edition. Oh my God. <laughs> indigenous, Indigenous, Indigenous. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> Conestoga Conversations Indigenous Edition. In this series, every conversation with student recruiters will be exploring the programs, pathways, and clusters at Conestoga College. From a one-year college certificate to a four years honors degree, Conestoga College has multiple ways to help you reach your goals. In today's conversation, we're going to be talking about civil engineering cluster at our Cambridge campus. Some of you may be wondering, what does a student recruiter do? We are specialists in helping future prospective students by providing reliable information about programs and services, answering any Conestoga related questions on a one-to-one -one basis or in group settings, and leading you on virtual tours. And once we're back to campus and back to normal, uh, touring through our eight campus locations. Uh, Conestoga student recruiters work with Indigenous students, students interested in degrees, trades and apprenticeships, and the general population. My name is Roxanne Shawana. I'm the Indigenous Recruiter at Conestoga College. I'm from Okomakong, unceded territory on beautiful Mantulan Island. And my name is Alicia Rivard, and I work with the general population, and I have a background in career development. Again, we will be talking today about our civil engineering clustered programs at our Cambridge campus. Uh, joining us today is Kobe Lamarche, one of the civil engineering faculty. Kobe, why don't you introduce yourself to our audience? Hi, my name is Kobe Lamarche. I'm a professional engineer. I've been teaching at Conestoga for, I guess, it might be 13 years now uh, in civil engineering and environmental engineering technology. Thank you. So there's different types of programs available at Conestoga College in our School of Engineering and Technology. Just a quick note, the Technology Foundations Program will help students um, assist with academic upgrading, so getting the math requirements to get into a program, program deliberation, making sure that you're heading into the right area that you're looking at, and assist with transition from college life um, to college life and workload. The program enables students to gain admission requirements needed to enter in, into a three-year engineering technology program. Conestoga has programs from one to four years in length, and a few examples in our civil cluster include a one-year college certificate, like our technology foundations, two-year diploma programs, three-year advanced diplomas, such as our civil engineering technology and our environmental civil engineering technology. And many of our three-year advanced diplomas have optional co-ops. And we have four years honors degree with mandatory co-ops. So why don't so, I jump in and, and I can speak a little bit to what civil engineering is, is about. Thank you, that's great. And that this uh, civil is maybe not something that you, you've come across. When we say electrical engineering, we say mechanical engineering, most of us have a picture of what that might be about. Well, the root of civil is civilization. So what we do are all of the things that keep our world working. Uh, you don't have to think about it when you turn on the tap that you're going to have uh, drinking water. When you flush the toilet that it's going to hit the sewers and end up in a wastewater treatment plant and that water is going to be safely treated and returned to the environment. You don't have to think about roads collapsing or bridges collapsing when you're driving on them. That's everything that we do. That's what civil engineering is. Civil engineering keeps the world working. And to me, it's um, obviously biased. Uh, I think it's the most important area of engineering. We can't go without it. When we're doing our jobs properly, you don't notice the things that we do because we allow the world to function. It's job security. Uh, careers in civil engineering, always. Uh, the day that we don't need treated drinking water, the day that we don't need to treat wastewater, the day that we don't need waste management uh, or transportation or roadways or retaining walls is the day that our civilization has completely collapsed. And, and that's not coming. As long as we need those things, we're going to need people that are trained to design them and trained to build them. And that's what we do at Conestoga. That's our focus. Uh, our focus above all else here is to get you onto your career. 
uh, a successful career in this area of engineering. As I said, I'm biased, but I think there's tremendous job security uh, in this area, and I don't see that going away anytime soon. In terms of what you're doing in, in high school, uh, the, the math is, is really important. Uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, designing things like roadways, uh, designing things like retaining walls, there's a mathematic component to that. To make sure that we're not over-designing and spending more money than we need to, uh, to have a successful construction project, and that we're not under-designing and, and having a potential failure of that construction project. So math is important. Uh, also important would be physics. Now, physics isn't a requirement, but in our business, we deal with the real world. We deal with uh, the natural environment and how we interact with that. And that's what physics is about. So having a basis in physics is a real help and a bit of a leg up for our students that are coming in to civil engineering technology. Environmental civil engineering technology has civil as its core backbone. Uh, most of the courses are shared with the civil program. There are a five courses that have an environmental flavor uh, that are included in the in the environmental civil program, uh, predominantly around contaminated site management, how to collect uh, groundwater samples, surface water samples, soil samples, and waste management. Uh, in our civilization, we need to manage waste. We generate waste, and again, that's not a requirement that's going away anytime soon. So one thing that we're trying to teach uh, the students in our environmental civil engineering program is how we can safely design waste management facilities. That's a really clear explanation of the difference. Thank you. <laughs> um, for the programs, I know that you mentioned math and physics, and I know that some students might be thrown off by that because uh, we do hear a lot of high schoolers talking about how uh, difficult math and especially physics can be. So, um, Liz, do you want to talk a little bit maybe about what some of the supports are available to students that are like coming in with uh, maybe some of those struggles? Yeah, if you're if you're in any of the programs, uh, say you're doing physics. I know I couldn't make it through physics, so I would have needed tutoring. Luckily, I didn't need it for my um, degree. But if you're coming in, say you're not really good at physics, and you know that's going to be a big component, or math. Um, I wasn't good in math either, so I would need tutoring. So at the college, we do have an area uh, for students that student supports, and it's free. So never be afraid to ask for help. Come in, ask us. You can get tutoring one on one in group settings, uh, even peer tutoring. So that can really help you because, as you know, if you don't do well in, you know, semester one math and then you go to semester two and you don't pass it or you're not or you're struggling, it's going to really impact you as you go. So ask for help. That's what we're here for. We really want to make sure that when you finish up the college that you have a career you're passionate about and we make it as as much fun as we can while you're there. And I, I think if I can just piggyback on that, uh, when we offer students admission to our programs, it's because we want them to succeed. And when we bring you in in, in first year, we expect to be handing you a diploma in, in your third year. Uh, that's what we're doing here. And we've got supports in place and our focus is to get you the help that you need and the support that you need to get you from that year one in the fall to that diploma at the end of your third year. Kobe, I just have a really quick question uh, for you before we continue. Um, I know that with uh, these, uh, with the civil engineering technology programs, um, it, there's the Ontario Association of Certified Engineering Technicians and Technologists. Can you just really briefly explain that, just so students understand what that means? Sure. So our, our three-year program uh, permits students to register as a certified engineering technologist. And I am a big fan of credentials and this is a big credential especially credentials uh, that you can't just buy that nobody is going to just willingly hand to you the ones that are hard to get the ones that not just anybody can get are the ones that matter and the CET designation is one that matters it's one that's industry recognized it's one that permits you to do things in an engineering office that somebody who doesn't have that designation won't be able to do awesome thank you thank you move on to some of the facilities that are used at the school. So yeah, I'll just I'll jump back in here. One of the key 
uh, components of, of a civil engineering or environmental civil engineering technology education at Conestoga is getting your hands on the equipment, is developing skills with um, the tools that you will actually be using when you're working as a professional. So whether that's the photographed here is the soils lab, uh, spending time looking at different mixtures for concrete and how that affects the strength of concrete when we break it, whether it's looking at soil properties and how we can uh, leverage those soil properties for the buildings that we're, we're trying to put on that soil or surveying. Uh, we spend a significant amount of time in the program teaching you how to survey. We can't do anything uh, with a civil engineering project until we understand what the topography is like. Can we get this site to drain? How deep are the foundations going to be for the building? Where are the sewers going to go and what elevations are those going to be at? Those are the skills that we impart in the program and it's through a hands-on uh, hands approach. Thank you. I, I think, Lish, do you have anything you want to add here? Or I, I think you covered no. everything. Kobe did an awesome job. There's nothing for me to add. <laughs> There's nothing to add. Um, so what we have is some contact information here. If you are interested in either the civil engineering program or the environmental civil engineering program and have some questions, maybe for some faculty, you can connect with them at civil at conestogac.on.ca. And maybe you're just thinking, you know what? I like what I heard here. I'm not sure if I'm ready to contact a coordinator. You can start with the student recruiters, and that is both Alicia and myself. We are two of the recruiters here at Conestoga, and you can uh, shoot us an email. You can connect with us at, by text, or if you'd like, you can set up a Zoom conversation, whatever is um, easiest and your preferred method of communication. So until next time, Bama P.